<clears throat> good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Last week I shared a video speaking about the power and possibly the necessity of really staying orientated to the heart, to compassion when protesting against, I mean, the example I used was protesting against the genocide in Palestine, but it holds true for anything, anything you're protesting against as such, is the necessity to stay orientated to the heart and to move from the heart and to not allow oneself to become possessed by hatred, because the moment that happens, you simply become the one that you're protesting against as such. And, uh, there's a few comments on that video. One person was like, I can't quite tell if it's parody or not. No, it's not parody at all. Um, and then someone else wanted to know if that extended to the genocide of the Jews. And it's like, well, it, of course, <laughs> you know, like this is, this is the thing with the heart and staying orientated to the heart is that the suffering of all beings is felt. And there is an impetus or a desire to prevent the suffering of any and all beings like that. Of course, like, of course, of course, you know, um, of course, that wasn't really what the question was about. Right. It wasn't really what the question was about. So I just want to speak a little about the, the heart space and moving from an open heart and you know, if we look at all the conflict and the horror in the world, the pain and suffering that is caused by humans to other humans, this can only happen. It's only possible to harm another human like that if you are closed off in the heart space, because when the heart is open, the heart is a field that connects to all other beings. And so the suffering of another is felt as if it is the suffering of oneself. And so it literally becomes impossible to cause suffering to another because you're causing suffering to yourself. And, uh, and so if I was to strip back this journey of humanity to its most basic level in some ways is all that is required is a mass heart opening. That's it. And if, if that's all that's required is a mass heart opening, then what's required is the opening of my heart, your heart, our heart. And so if you look at the world and you despair at what is happening, if you look at the world and you despair at the conflicts and the genocide and the, the, the rape and pillage of the Mother Earth, all of these things, then, and you want it to be different, you want it to be different, the most powerful thing you can do is open your heart, crack your heart open, allow life to crack your heart open completely, completely, completely. Because when you move from an open heart, you will, uh, there's an invitation to others, right? An open heart can be felt, can be felt. It's a field, you see. And as we all start to move into that open hearted field and dance together, there is a power. What happens when 10, 12 of us are in that open hearted field and we go into an event with a thousand people? Do you think that that open hearted field of the 12 is felt by the thousand? Of course it is. Of course. It is. What happens when an open hearted field of a million? Is that felt by the hundred million? You see? So very simple. So simple. It's like, oh, you want to decrease the suffering in the world? Open your heart. And yet, huh, it's not necessarily an easy thing to do because it means feeling all of the stored pain and suffering that is in your system through this lifetime, perhaps other lifetimes. And so are you willing to do that? Are you willing to feel all of your own suffering completely without venting it, exporting it onto other people and simply taking ownership of it, devouring it, digesting it, dissolving it? Are you willing to do that? All right? Because if you aren't willing to do that, then how the fuck is the world going to shift and change? What use is it to protest against, rail against, what's out there if you're not even willing to face your own pain and suffering.
it really couldn't be simpler. That's my felt sense. You know, that is my felt sense. This is what I've been doing is learning how to allow my heart to crack wide open, is learning how to handle feeling the field, right? Immersion in the field, the energetic field, which means feeling other people's pain and suffering as if it's my own. Being able to hold that and take ownership of what is mine and digest it, you see. That's been the journey. Um, what does it mean to be human? What is this journey of humanity that we're on? What I'll leave you with is simply a question. And this isn't to be answered in words. This is for you to sit with. This is for you to feel. What would it feel like? What would it feel like? to be part of a society, to be part of a community that is open-hearted? What would it feel like to be part of a society that is open-hearted? Imagine, what would it feel like if our politicians, our leaders were open-hearted? What would that feel like? How do we become that? Don't even worry about that, how? All I'm asking you to do is to sit with what would it feel like to live in a society that was open-hearted? Blessings. Blessings on the goddess. Blessings on this unfolding. Blessings on each one of you. Blessings on your journey.